Hi Junior 6, today we're gonna tackle a new grammar lesson which is about using the past simple and the present perfect. How, when, and when can I use each tense separately? Okay, so let's start by the first sentence here. I lost my keys yesterday. Why did I use here the past simple? Because you're talking about an action that started and finished in the past. So if I asked you, did it have any relation to the present time? Of course not. So I lost my keys and that's it. So the past simple is about or is used when you want to speak about an action that is over. It has no relation to the present time. So the action is started and finished in the past. What about the present perfect? I've lost my keys. So here you're talking about an action that started in the past, but it affected the present time. So here, the action of losing the keys is over, but the effect or the result is that I can't get into my house. Okay, do I have any other reasons for which or by which I can say, yes, I have to use here the past simple and I have to use here the present perfect? Yes. So let's see here. She traveled last week. The second one, she's traveled this week. So what's the difference? The first one here I used last week. So the time period or the time word is over. It's over last week and that's it. But she's traveled this week. She's traveled within this week. So this is unfinished time word. I didn't identify which day in the week did she travel on. So whenever you want to speak about an action that happened in the past yet, but I don't know when you're going to speak about or use the present perfect. Okay. What about the form of the past simple and the present perfect? Of course, we talked about this in detail. So we're going to just go over the form quickly. So if we started by the past simple, she cleaned the house yesterday. They slept a lot last night. As you can see, if you want to form a positive sentence, you have to look at the verb. Is it a regular verb or irregular verb? In case you have a regular verb, you're going to add D, E, D, I, E, D. In case you have an irregular verb, you have to study it by heart as here, sleep, slept. Okay, what about the negative form? You're going to use didn't plus the base form of the verb, okay? What about a question? You're going to start by the question word, then did then the subject, then the base form of the verb. Okay, here, some examples of the present perfect. They've known each other for a long time. She's forgotten her appointment. I've moved to a new house recently. She hasn't found her friend yet. Okay, so in case you have a positive sentence, start by the subject, then choose has or have, then the PP of the verb. In case you're going to make a negative sentence, start by the subject, hasn't or haven't, plus the PP of the verb. In case you have a question, so you're going to start by has or have, plus the subject, plus the PP of the verb. Okay, here I have another thing. Can the keywords help me to differentiate between the past simple and the present perfect? Of course, the keywords can help you a lot. But in case you don't have a keyword, so you have to think about the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so let's start by the keywords of the past simple. I have here, yesterday, and ago. I can say an hour ago, a week ago, a month, a year ago. Last plus last month, last year, last week, in plus any year that happened in the past. What about the present perfect you've got yet? already, just, never, ever, for and since. Yet, of course, is used in the negative form and the question already and just are used in the positive sentence. Never is used in the positive sentence, but it gives negative meaning. Ever is used in the question. And if you want to emphasize on something, for example, this is the most massive building that I've ever seen. For and since are followed by uh, time but the difference is that for is followed by the whole period of time since it's followed by the beginning or the start of time. 
Thank you so much. Don't forget to pay attention to the keywords or think about the meaning of the sentence before you start answering it.